Hello there, this is Matthew with another uh, update on or <laughs> regarding Superheroes Get Hungry 2. Um, I have developed this children's book that I've talked about a few times on this channel so far. And I thought I'd write the children's book and then I'd be done with it. And it turns out that that's not how things are going down for me. <laughs> uh, in creating this whole cast of characters, I really fell in love with uh, the designs and I really enjoyed the process of working on the designs and I also really came to enjoy uh, comic books again uh, my passion was reunited for comics which I had read for some time as a kid um, and had never really gotten back into them but uh, besides Star Wars comics because I'll take Star Wars pretty much in any form Except Lego, I'm not watching Lego Star Wars stuff. It's just, uh, just not me. Anyway, uh, so I started watching videos on YouTube about comics and just kind of rediscovering the medium and reading some on my own. And what happened when I did that was that I realized that they were really engaging and really exciting for me. Um, there's just, I don't know. There's something to the formula of the comics. Uh, I had remembered from years past that I really enjoy manga, uh, which manga is the, uh, you know, the Japanese, it's anime in comic book form, basically. Um, basically. A lot of manga are uh, based off of anime, and a lot of anime uh, come from manga, and they kind of flow back and forth with each other. Um, so, anyway, uh, something I always really enjoyed about manga, the Japanese comic books, is that they are formed into collections and you basically uh, obtain them you can either be subscribed to a weekly um, or monthly book where it has a bunch of a company's uh, comic books collected and they're similarly themed there'll be different shows with different uh, from different creators or different shows they are different comics from different creators and it's kind of like subscribing to all of Marvel or DC or Dynamite or boom any of the company's comic books and then getting all of their comic books um, but just a few pages at a time and then what happens is when shows are popular enough I, this is how I understand it anyway when a show is popular enough they will uh, it will basically get collected and that collection will um, will put the whole stories together in order and then uh, what results from that is that you can go ahead and buy those and actually uh, in America anyway when you go to buy manga at a bookstore or online even, uh, typically what you're going to be doing is buying one of those collections. And that's actually neither here nor there. The, the point is that uh, the visual medium, the reading the comics on the paper, is actually really something I've come to enjoy once again. And um, I'm really interested in taking the work that I'm doing with this children's book and all the characters I've developed for it and seeing them... Uh, appear in other works and I'm really interested in now the idea of actually making comics with these characters so um, my own comic books so anyway uh, I'm definitely interested in seeing superheroes get hungry to published. that's what I'm working towards right now but as a not a fringe benefit but as an aside I want this whole universe of, of these other characters to exist as well and as part of that uh, what I'm trying to do is create a cohesive universe that all works together. And in that, um, I've created all these characters. They all have different types of powers. And uh, these characters, actually, this is a team of the Cosmic Cadets. It's three, three boys who work together. Um, they all have different sources for their powers, but they all have one ability that links them together. And... The reason for that is, well, that was kind of accidental as I was developing their powers. Um, I ended up giving all of them uh, some similar abilities. Um, so, Dark Star actually has control over gravity, which she can use to fly and do other things. The Cosmic Cadets have constellation magic, so they have kind of crazy magical powers derived or based on uh, various constellations. And Leap has the ability to teleport, kind of like uh, Kurt Wagner or Nightcrawler from X-Men. So, I was thinking the fact that all these characters can teleport themselves somehow uh, is 
a thing that links my universe together because I want all these different characters I've created to exist in the same universe and they do and um, my conceit is that the way they exist in that universe together is not that they're all in the same city or anything like that but that they all exist in the same world and all of the events don't necessarily have an impact on each other a direct impact but they could and there are connections between them and some of the connections are things that underlie all of them fundamentally so all of these three sets of characters are in their own books you would see them teleporting um, now my idea is that they all have their unique ways of doing that dark star for example uh, I think because she has power over gravity and um, you know a, a black hole or or wormhole or something that would enable people to teleport would be uh, a distortion in space-time um, she can distort space because of her gravity power so my concept for Dark Star is that she distorts space and creates wormholes or tunnels for herself to teleport through by opening uh, a space she uses her power of gravity to create like an anti-gravity force which pushes away space and warps it until it opens up until something that is big enough that she can go through and then she comes out on the other side of it somewhere and this isn't something I definitely want her to be doing all the time but it is a concept that I have for her and I really like the idea of it uh, <clears throat> Leap kind of just can mentally think about mentally think he just thinks about where he wants to go and then he can teleport wherever he wants basically and I, I don't have a clear link for you know what the where his powers come from but I definitely do think his ability to teleport uh, has to be related to their ability to teleport as well so um, he envisions himself in a place and then basically can go you know next to this tree over here and do whatever he has to do uh, so that's his thing. It's a little more mysterious, esoteric, behind the scenes kind of. It's less explained. Just like uh, I know they go into to Kurt's teleportation, but uh, it won't. I won't go. I won't tread that same ground because it's already been done, and that would be copying. But anyway, and then for the Cosmic Cadets, I figured they have these pen lights, and it would be really cool for their pen lights to shine and create a kind of distortion, a funnel, and that what would happen is the light shines and then it shuts off and then from that actually is created a tunnel or funnel that as they travel through it <laughs> it kind of goes to a vanishing point because I gotta think about comics being a visual medium and what would happen is the guys would come through this portal that they made and uh, as they go through they disappear as this shrink so when he's here you wouldn't be able to see the rest of him and through this you might see like just his shoulder or whatever and not any his, his legs or anything and then on the other side um, you would have the distortion opening up again and then the cosmic cadets would emerge and whoever whoever else was with them perhaps would emerge from this as well and this just seemed like a really fun idea to me that uh, they would have their pen lights have all these different functionalities to them and part of it would be to enable them to teleport because uh, the Cosmic Cadets, these guys are you know nine years old and I don't know how else they're supposed to get from place to place to do their super heroics and save people and have their adventures if they're gonna be you know waiting for somebody to take them home or, or ride buses or whatever but I thought that would be a cool a cool way for them to travel so uh, you know, in in the Tales of Luminous Beings, in this world that I'm creating for this potential comic series with all these different characters, teleportation is something that exists based on the fundamentals of that universe, and it's manifested in different ways, and I just wanted to share that little bit of world building and talk about how all these different characters uh, can kind of accomplish similar things in their own unique ways that are rooted in whatever their own powers are. And that's all I wanted to share for now. So um, please help uh, support this channel and support uh, my further work if you like what I'm doing here. Uh, you can hit subscribe and like. Uh, hitting like will benefit me somehow. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how. 
And that's a terrible thumb up that I'm making, but still it's a thumbs up nonetheless. Um, so hitting like will help me, and then two, hitting that bell will get you notifications for every time I put out a new video. You want it to be doing this so that you can get those notifications on time. And uh, please subscribe to me. I, I've just re uh, learned that if I get 100 subscribers, I can get a custom YouTube slash whoever, you know, Luminous Beings books or whatever I'm going to call the uh, the YouTube channel. So it's easier to share and uh, it'll be simpler for me to grow the channel and uh, popularize these books and these stories that I want to make. Thank you for your time.